Howdy, this is Dick Baxter. Wanted to give you a brief update on my medical condition. Two days after Thanksgiving, I began to feel uh, uneasiness and a little bit of pain in my stomach region. Ruth kept asking me uh, what was causing my problem, and all I could tell her was that it felt like I was having indigestion of some kind. We sat on it for about five days and then I finally decided we needed to go to the emergency room and have it checked out. Nine hours later I was admitted to Lutheran Hospital after we did a CAT scan and discovered that my gallbladder was completely shot. As well we discovered that there was a suspicious mass on my right kidney. However, the doctors realized that the gallbladder was the primary reason for my discomfort and they decided that it needed to be removed. The next day I was feeling uh, pretty good and within the next day they took the uh, tube out of my throat as well as my catheter and I was beginning to talk prior to that. I was writing notes all over the place with uh, pencil and paper as well as on my, uh, my phone. I really didn't find out until about a week later that uh, my wife Ruth told me that after the surgery the surgeon came to her and said that in all the years that he had been doing surgery he had never seen a gallbladder that was in such horrible condition as the one he took out of me. It was gangrenous in three different uh, stages. There was a lot of infection and so he cleaned it out. However, he told my wife that he could not guarantee that I would be alive by the end of the week. But then God walked into the picture and I perked up and got my tube out, got my catheter out started uh, eating food, uh, took very little pain medication whatsoever and it was amazing when the doctors would come back to take a look at me and they just could not understand why I was doing so well. Of course that gave me the opportunity to share with them that I had many many Christians all over the world and especially a great deal of Jamaicans who were lifting me up in prayer and that was the reason for uh, my amazing recovery. Now that I'm out and I've been home for about three weeks we're going to stage two which is to deal with the kidney. I met with my urologist on December the 22nd, which was the day after my 77th birthday, and he said that he would like me to go in as an outpatient the first week of January, where he would like to take pictures of the tumor and get a better picture of uh, how, where it was located, uh, if it was attached to any other organs, and what was going to be the best means to take the uh, kidney completely out. I'll keep you updated as to what's going on and uh, when the surgery will actually uh, be scheduled. One of the things I'd like to really say to you people on Facebook and other places that will see this is I cannot thank you enough for the outpouring of your goodness, your prayers, your cards, your visits, uh, phone calls, it's just been amazing. Almost daily I get phone calls from my Jamaica friends and they're keeping track of me and letting me know that they're fasting, their churches are praying, and they are asking God to give me a, a speedy recovery. We had planned a trip on January 30th for a week with eight people. However, in consulting with the doctors, the specialists, family, friends, and the rest of the team, it has been decided that we will postpone that trip 
until probably in September of next year. One final thing, I really want to give a thanks to our church, First Missionary Church. They have just been super in providing us with evening meals, uh, going, uh, doing running errands for us. So again, thank you so much. God has been so good to me. I can't begin to explain. I can't begin to tell you what kind of a feeling it is. You have to go through it yourself. You have to experience it to really understand and to know the love, the outpouring of uh, family and friends and people that are so close to you. Thank you very much. God bless you.